Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at the duality concept, which you might also see written as the dual aspect concept, but it's all the same thing. If, it's, if it says dual in it, it will be referring to this concept here, which says that every business transaction has a dual effect. So it must be recorded in two different accounts. And this is the basis for what we call double entry accounting. So yeah, just to finish off our bullet points here, we require a double entry of transactions for our balance sheet to balance. So if we look back at our previous videos, we had the fundamental accounting equation, which said that our assets have to be equal to our liabilities plus our equity. And so what we have here, assuming that this holds to begin with, and we, we currently have our balance sheet balancing as it should do, and let's consider that we now have a business transaction and this will be our example. Our example here is that a business purchases £20,000 worth of machinery. Well, if they purchase this amount of machinery, our impact is going to be felt in two places. One of these things is going to be that we have an increase in capital assets. We have bought some machinery, so we have an increase in assets. So for our fundamental accounting equation, we have an increase in A here. However, if we increase our assets, this means that this is no longer going to balance because it originally balanced. This A was equal to L plus E, but now our A has increased, so this is no longer balancing. However, luckily for us, we have the duality concept, which says that this transaction is going to be recorded in a second place. We've bought this machinery, so we've increased our assets, but we've still had to pay for these uh, assets. So this has reduced £20,000 in cash in our business because in order to get these this increase in assets, we've had to reduce our cash balance. So this is also going to reduce our cash and it just so happens that cash is also an asset. So this is just going to reduce our A back down uh, £20,000 and this will now balance again and we still have A equals L plus E. We've had an increase of A and we've had a decrease of A. And so we've recorded this twice, this transaction. And if we think about it, any transaction we have is going to have this dual effect. Let's consider that we sell a good, we're a business, we sell things, and we sell one of our products for £10. Well, that's great, so we're gonna gain cash, we're gonna gain £10 of cash, but we still have a dual effect. And what's the second effect that we have? Well, it's that we lose stock or inventory or whatever this will be referred to in our accounts. Because great, we've gained 10 pounds, we've sold a product, but we've still, we've now lost that product. We don't own it anymore because we've sold it to someone else. So we reduce the stock of our business. We know we have one less product that we can sell in the future. And these, these two values will be equal. We've gained £10 in cash and we have lost £10 in stock. And so these cancel out and our balance sheet will still balance. So that's the duality concept. We've, we're going to have to have every entry recorded twice. And hopefully using this equation here helped us to understand why this was the case. Because if we have our balance sheet balancing to begin with and then we change one thing, then this equation is no longer going to hold. So we have to change two things such that this balance sheet still balances. And that's the duality concept or double entry accounting. So hopefully that was useful. If it was, please do drop a like on this video, check out the accounting playlist for more accounting concepts and subscribe to add some econ to your subscription feed.